Today I'm going to show you a knot that you're likely not going to find in any books or publications on knot tying. This is a knot that I came up with many years ago. So when I was 12 years old, my father taught me how to tie the Prusik loop. It's more of a climbing knot, but we were using it in a safety application uh, for our own makeshift harnesses back before we had the money to buy safety harnesses. And the Prusik loop is a fantastic knot. This is an adaptation of that loop, uh, but using it as uh, by tying it to the end of the rope on the end of a rope as opposed to uh, in a loop like you would normally tie the Prusik, thereby making it an adjustable fixed loop knot. So you can tighten that down, but you still have the ability to slide this back and forth, adjust it to wherever you want, and this knot will hold. Uh, the reason I came up with this is because I was using a taut line one day on a pretty slippery rope and I just could not make the taut line hold no matter how much I snugged it. So having known the Prusik, I decided to, I was just playing around and I came up with this adaptation. Uh, I don't really have a name for it, I just call it the adjustable loop Prusik and I'm going to show you how it's tied. So to begin this knot, the first thing we want to do is we're going to cross over the object that we're capturing. And you're going to want to leave yourself quite a bit of, of working end on this uh, particular knot because there's quite a few wraps to go. Now again, we're going to be tying this much like you would the Prusik loop, except we're going to be using the end of the rope. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to cross over our standing line and we're going to create three wraps back towards the, uh, the captured object. So there's our first one, and there's two, and then there's three. I'm going to slide that up just a bit so we can see it a little better. Then we're going to cross over and we're going to create three more wraps, but this time we're going to go in the opposite direction. So there's our first one and two. And at this point, I like to snug that up just a bit because that third wrap actually does not, will not go down. It's going to stay on top. And so now we have three. Now at this point, I want to cross over here. Pull it down, and then we're going to go under, and we're going to finish it off with a half hitch. Make sure everything is nice and uniform and snug. And now we have our adjustable loop knot, where you can easily slide it in any direction, but as soon as you put tension on it, much like the Prusik loop, it will not give. It is an outstanding knot that is way better in my opinion than the taut line. Now again I've searched kind of high and low for this knot to see if anybody had come up with it, if there was a name for it. I haven't been able to find one. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's not out there and somebody else hasn't already come up with this knot, but I haven't found it to date. Uh, this is what I call the adjustable loop Prusik. I encourage you to try it out and see if you like it a little better than the taut line hitch. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.